the Smashing Glass. Premieres Wednesday, November 15th at 9, 8 central. Hi, I'm Fancy Haygood, and you're watching Celeb Secrets TV. We're here at um, CMT Smashing Glass. This yes. is the first time CMT is going on TV and honoring women in country music. Can you believe it? I can believe it. It should, it should have happened a long time ago, and I'm so glad it's happening now. I know, and you're, you're a part of it. You're here today. Yes. I don't know how I got here, but I'm super excited that I am. Like, seeing all these pictures mm. of Tanya and Miss Patty from all the so many years of entertaining people it's it's really an honor Absolutely. to be here and they're so inspiring too they of inspire course. you musically yeah I've been telling everyone as a queer artist growing up I didn't have too many artists like me to yeah. look up to and relate to so strong powerful women was kind of my jam I love a, a strong female lead mm -hmm. and I love a strong female voice that's always been something that inspired me growing up and it certainly is the backbone of all of my art. Absolutely. Now I gotta hear more about your music. Yeah. Fill me in and tell me everything. Well, I just put out a new single called Southern Sound. Okay. It's um, exciting. It's the first single off my sophomore album. My debut album, Southern Curiosity, came out in 2021. So I've been really excited to get new music out. Absolutely. But my whole career has been a lot of me having to start over or mm. redo things. And I'm really proud that the sophomore album is a continuation of the foundation we started in 2021. Totally. And it, it feels really good. It's, a, it's the, as the title suggests, it's a Southern uh, tell-all a little yeah. bit. Okay. So yeah, it's really exciting. I was gonna say, what is the story that you're telling and continuing to tell with the new music? Well, all of my music is about both me being queer and me being from the South mm. and how both of those things have made me everything that I am and how those things aren't, you know, they're not, they're not mutually exclusive, so it's really just a journey of being queer and being from the South and that being perfectly okay. Oh, oh no, I love that. Yeah. Now, how the um, fan reactions, fan stories, have a lot of people reached out to you and said thank you so much for putting songs out like this? Because I feel like there's just a community that, you know, you guys aren't speaking up about it in country music, so it's got to be nice, you know, that you're at the forefront with that. Yeah, it's been, um, my favorite message that I ever get is when someone says they're, they weren't a fan of country music until they heard this song or or they heard other artists like TJ Osborne or um, Chris Hausman or anyone like that. It's it's really cool because we're not excluding people from the genre anymore. We're welcoming everyone to this party. Yeah. And that's a really powerful thing to be a part of. And I love when people reach out to me to tell me that they see themselves in my songs or they see their story in mine. It's really just making them feel seen. It's making me feel seen. And that's a powerful thing. That's incredible. Now, any goals for the next year? Anything that you're like want to manifest or like put into the universe? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I have so many goals that it's almost hard to choose one. Okay. But I think next year, I want to quadruple with my sophomore album, everything I did with my debut album. I'm an independent artist, okay. so, you know, every stream, it, it all really matters. And not that it doesn't for other artists, but, you know, when I go on tour, when I'm doing anything, when I'm putting videos out, that comes out of my pocket. Mm -hmm. So, um, to know that people are supporting the music is, is the best thing for me. So, I'm just hoping to smash my own ceilings, if you know what I mean. Absolutely. <laughs> I feel like you will, though. It's coming. Thank you. Thank you.